This is the streets. This is Road Warriors. Custom bike house racing. This is Battle 7, and first up we have Metal Mania 3D in the VW Bug. Sponsored by Metal Mania 3D, he's going up against Marco Mapelli and cloaked after dark racing. This one's weighing 64 grams. Metal Mania 3D's got the inside. Car still slipping and sliding here on MWR. There is a lot of humidity in the air. And this is what's happening. Metal Mania 3D takes that first one out. And Marco Mapelli right on his fenders. Mapelli on the inside in that yellow Lamborghini. An easy win out of the first for Metal Mania 3D. Setting the time of 8.680. Marco Mapelli for Poked After Dark. And the yellow Lamborghini not far behind him. Mad Mike in Max for NZ Racing. This one's weighing 48 grams. The green light Falcon. He's going up against 2D. Driving for 100 proof racing. And look at that, almost 60 grams difference. Mad Mike has the inside. Mad Mike bringing home an upset in an 8.680 and you see how fast 2D flew in. Holy moly Batman, where in the hell did he come from? 2D struggling last week against Power Drive Racing but on form tonight. 2D has the inside, Mad Mike for NZ Racing on the outside. Mad Mike coming in backwards and stealing the show off 2D. NZ Racing has to be happy with those two points this early in the season. 2D for 100 proof racing, struggling to get across that line. Redline Savage Inc. is up next in the 29 crew cab. The sponsor is Redline Savage Inc. It's a Johnny Lightning. He's going up against Chuck's Garage in Riverton and the sponsor is Chuck's Garage. Redline Savage Inc. has the inside. Redline strolling across the line and a little help from his mate Chuck's garage. Not one of the fastest times I've seen from this pair. They have performed better. Mount Western Raceway is so unpredictable. Chuck's garage holds the inside. Chuck's Garage, oh, a big hit and off the track. Redline Savage Inc. not happy with that squaring up there of this race by Chuck's Garage. Oh, he's upside down. He's in a bad position, but he's okay. Let's have a look again. Oh, yeah, almost took out our lighting. Only 10 grams difference between these two. This one is Pain MD and Sapphire. A case you'll hate racing. Going up against the Kiwi Crazy Jordan. This one's weighing 76 grams. The Jaguar XJ220. Pain MD holds the inside. Crazy Jordan just walking across that line. Brings home another point for Team Hot Wheel Boys. Well done in the Jaguar XJ220. Payne MD was looking strong out of the gate. However, that misfortune down the back cost him a win across the line. Crazy Jordan holds the inside. Crazy Jordan doing the double tonight. Oh, and a little stack there by Payne MD on his roof. These guys fighting hard and those two points are scarce. I'm telling you, man. James Kirk's on the track, driving the flying brick for a fractal panda, weighing 104 grams, going up against one of the heavyweights, Blue Line Racing in Cadzilla. This is 118, and the sponsor is Blue Line Racing. James Kirk is on the inside.
Luline Racing showing us how it's done in the first here. He had some nice late speed out of turn two, and James Kirk was stuck up at turn one, doing the big 360s and unable to keep himself together in a straight line. The caddy's up front with Blue Line behind the wheel. An awesome battle in this race, however, is Blue Line Racing who crosses first and he brings home two points out of this particular battle. James Kirk was blocked up at turn one by the caddy. Let's look at the replay you can see here. The caddy's just right in front, forces him into the wall. Up next is Poe Boy Racing, having a fine season in Road Warriors Season 3 in the Fat Fended 40. Alongside of him in those black fire tyres is DJ Triple J in Slick, the mighty Matchbox Holden Commodore. Poe Boy Racing's up front. Poe Boy Racing too good in the first, and look at that little reverse park there, just showing off to the crowd. Well done, Poe Boy. An 8720, not your fastest. DJ Triple J. I'm wondering what he has to do to get in front of this mighty fat fended 40. The slicks up front with DJ behind the wheel. Oh boy, racing in a sensational 8.120. That has to be a record on Mount Western Raceway. Look at this bounce back. Oh, right up near the garages. And he's going forwards again. DJ Triple J in trouble, but he'll be back next week. 25 grams of difference between these two racing. It's hot car track in the 99 Holden. Going up against Skunk Works in that naked Evo. This is weighing 75 grams. And is the Hot Wheels 2008 Lancer. Let's get going, it's hot car track. Who's got the inside? Skunk works too good for hot car track in the first. Oh, a big slam there by that Holden with hot car track behind the wheel. A lot of frustrations in tonight's racing. Skunk works is on the inside. Skunk Works again too good for hot car track. He takes us out and look at this bounce back, ladies and gentlemen. He's going right back to the start gate. Oh, we've seen some big hits on that back wall, and that's one of the furthest I've seen. Skunk Works takes home the two points. Gonna we'll probably see him right up the top. Hot car track and that 99 Holden. What's going on, mate? Next up is a purple nurple. Warpig's behind the wheel of his Hot Wheels Dodge Challenger. He's going up against Lily the Dog in 100 Bones. A little sleek car this one is. Very well built, suitable on this track. Warpig has the inside. Warpig 76 takes this one out. And Lily the dog having a severe rollover out of turn two. Let's just go back and look at this replay. Hits the bottom and oh, she's on the roof and slipping and sliding to the finish line. Lily the dog's recovered and is on the inside. Warpig's on the outside. Lily the dog. Coming round that turn two, I thought she was gone and done and dusted. Look at that little swing back there to show the crowd. Ah, oh, what a little ripper of a car this is. Warpig 76. Both teams score a point each. Next up, it's mate against mate, country against country. It's Tito Racing in Sonic Evo, weighing 91 grams. Going up against Jack Sparrow in Black Pearl, weighing 113 grams. This will be interesting, folks. We have Tito Racing on the inside. A nice win. Oh, and Black Pearl's off. Oh, Jack Sparrow, what's happening, mate? Tito Racing bringing home an 8.480, a very respectable time. Jack Sparrow and Black Pearl just hanging on the side of the track. Car swap lane. Jack Sparrow's on the inside.
Both these guys having fun in tonight's race, but it's Jack Sparrow who brings this one home in a 10.48 and squaring everything up out of this battle. Tito racing right behind him. He's happy, he's got a point and so is his mate. Second to last race tonight, we see Lucas and Shell driving for Justin A350 in the 219 Mercedes-Benz going up against TJ Gonzo and Galactica for R Low Racing. That 89 T-Bird stocker, Lucas, is on the inside. Lucas powering home to take this and there's a big hit that has to be the stack of the night so far. Lucas ploughing into the crowd. Oh man. As I say, if you stand there, you take your life in your own hands. That's not the place you want to be. TJ Gonzo for Arlo racing on the inside. TJ Gonzo taking this one home. And, oh, that's another big hit there by Lucas for just an A350. Wow, let's go back and have a look at that. Oh, it's almost a dead stop there for Arlo Racing. Both teams getting a point in tonight's battle. Here we go, it's the last battle tonight. This is Crazy Canuck, Wayne 68 and the Mini Cooper S Challenge. It's going up against the Aussie Cut Rock Racing in Turbo Fire. The Leslie Rollermatic coming in at 84 grams. Crazy Canuck on the inside. Cut Rock Racing bringing that home. However, Crazy Canuck getting stuck out of Turn 1 manages to power down the track and wasn't that far behind him. They do say red goes faster. Cut Rock Racing is on the inside for the last of tonight. An easy two-pointer tonight for Cut Rock Racing. That'll get him up there on the leader's board. Crazy Canuck in that short wheelbase getting hung up out of turn one and unable to recover. Made it down the bottom though. Here's our results after battle seven and the breakaways are happening. Skunkworks on 12, Power Drive on 10, Red Line on nine, Metal on nine, Tito on nine, Blue Line on nine, 100 Proof on eight, Arlo on eight, Hoboy Racing on eight and the rest of the field is scrolling through. That breakaway happening so early in the season can mean a lot of damage to a lot of teams right now. But we have a lot of racing to go. We still have 14 more to go. The fastest track time tonight, and I think all over on Mount Western Raceway is Poe Boy racing in the Fat Fended 40. Look at the time, an 8.120. Unbelievable Poe Boy racing, congratulations. And the big stack tonight has to go to Lucas for just an A350. He gets slammed by Arlo racing off the track and almost takes out a lighting. Have a look. Oh man, that was going to be costly if you had to wipe that out, mate. Anyway, that's a wrap for tonight. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. This is The Streets. This is Road Warriors. Custom bike racing. <laughs>